Oh my my, have we been busy. So I haven't touched the lithium, but we carried on going out this way, as you guys know. And I said, once we get to the end of the conveyors, we're going to start going up. So I did. Going up was a bit of a struggle, but hey, look, we found some coal. And then we found some more coal. And then I was like, okay, so if I keep going up here, and I was like, okay, so what's our trajectory if we keep going up? Oh, that's right. We're going to end up going underneath the mountain, which would have meant going further and further and further up and potentially not even actually getting out. So what I did instead was I was like, OK, so maybe we've got to start turning and almost go back on ourselves. So I turned and then I came in here. And I hit another coal seam if not potentially the same one. So over here, we've got a lot of coal. Well, I'm currently here at the minute, and I just thought, you know what, let's pause and think about this and maybe attack it from the surface. So I've tried to see where we line up to with the surface. We are just into the side of the cliff here. So that will mean, however, if we go to the surface, that we are going to basically have to surface mine. What I'm thinking is, nice little bit of a dip there, straight conveyor out. We just run a load of straight conveyors out this way swing around then it can dump into there okay so it's just clearing this and i found the coal is here but ultimately i think i'm gonna get the excavator and that's gonna help us out a little bit what about getting a dozer so that the dozer can sort of hopefully can scrape the surface nice big dozer okay now we just got to see if we can use this to do what we want to do i want to try and clear the snow off the top i don't know if that works like that or not there's the start of the coal there. Awesomely, it might not work how I was hoping it would work. It's going to reform with it. Okay, now it's just covered it over again with dirt. Hmm, not sure if this is going to have the desired effect. It seems to be covering up the coal the more passes that we do rather than bringing it out. Let's... Let's try and set ourselves up for one of those Dropbox that everybody has got. So at the time of recording this, we have just had the leak of the sort of open mining update that is coming. And we're going to get a lot of bigger machinery, which will absolutely be perfect for what we're trying to do here. So I think there's no better way to prepare the site than basically prepare the site, I guess. And we can go back to working on the rest of the underground stuff while we wait. If I can get me a nice big sort of box set up here, that'd really be helpful. But we're not finished with the underground mine, don't forget. We've still got all those other branches that come off of the main conveyor. It's just this one, this side, I think we might as well stop. So that is the box built, basically. Hopefully it works. We can just dump into here and it will just dump everything down in. Which is perfect. I'm not going to worry too much about the rest of the stuff around here. But ultimately, that is preparation for a future project, hopefully. So, how about we charge down here then? This is going to be interesting. I've just got to, got to look and work out which floor pieces we need to take off though. Which is basically going to be all of these. Hopefully we'll get this alright. Yeah, there we go. And once we've passed it, and we've like got onto the conveyors, we'll be fine. We've just got to get over this initial bit first. Hopefully we'll get and to where we're going now i'm not going to line this one with concrete i think i'm going to change my mind i'm going to line it with like steel or something just so that we can identify the different tunnels based on the different materials it's a little bit corny but that way at least you know we've got a concrete tunnel a wood tunnel a mesh tunnel whatever else so that yeah if we do find something we can remember okay so that's down the concrete tunnel or that's down the wood tunnel just gives it a little bit of an easier way to identify it, I guess, which works for me. Okay, we are golden. So that's the start of the next tunnel. What should we do? Let's make this one wood, the wood tunnel. Be kind of cool if we get to a point where we can customize the paint so that we could kind of paint things up a little bit so we don't just have the wood to be all one color. We have our own unique colors to it the wood tunnel begins so unfortunately it's going to be the same old thing we're just going to keep howling forwards until we find some ore and then i might play it a little bit different to how we did the last one the last one just bored through it brought the house down this one we might change tack a little bit we'll see what happens we might not even find anything so unfortunately i'm just going to be mining away and boring a big hole through here again part of the good old boring company the aim of mining right the aim of the game just keep digging a big hole so i will say this if nothing else we're going to get a lot of soil from this i don't have any other ore or anything thus far 
I'm not a million miles into the tunnel. The last one that we did, the concrete one, because we started to go under a mountain, it kind of made everything feel like we were going deeper, even though we were just going straight. Whereas this, we're just going straight and we don't seem to be getting any hint of any rock or anything. It's just all dirt. I don't even think we're at pay dirt level yet. But that just gives us an idea of how low we are or aren't, as the case may be. I mean, a lot of the rock and stuff is really low. That's what's kind of given us the gravel that was paying as well. Now we're here, it's just dirt, and it's just all dirt. dirt as far as the eye can see, it's not going to pay us anything. So it's that trade-off between all the expenses that we are when we're putting the wooden boards up the side versus any money that we're getting back. And as you smart folk would know, spending a lot of money without getting any money in isn't a very good business model. Looking at this, we are also going out. More and more and more and more soil is appearing and less and less pay dirt tells me that the surface is close. We don't have far to go at all. Oh, in fact, a little bit of whiteness in the top corner already. That tells us that's the surface. Daylight, which is good. It's a tunneler's goal is to try and find daylight the other side, right? We are no longer mole people. We are above landers. So we've basically got ourselves a soil deposit or dirt deposit over this side, which is okay. I wonder what that means for the tunnel that runs sort of parallel to us, though. Looks like there's more of a hill that way. It goes towards the mountain, so we could get lucky and it could stay below land, but I don't know. So we'll just dig this all the way to flat. And when we're basically out and flat, then I might as well stop there. So that's me where we're at now. That's the end of the conveyors I had set up. I'm just going to get this all woodened up. And looking at my money site, I might have to go to the lithium that we have. That money is, is not looking good. Okay, so that is that. All done as far as I care to do it. And it's not a very big tunnel, which is a bit of a shame, really. I was expecting it to be a lot longer. But let's go see how much money we haven't made just doing that. Uh, a little bit. So, yeah. Not a lot of money at all. Right. I think what we've got to do now is go have a look at, at this mess out here. A slight problem looks a little bit phallic doesn't it <laughs> a little bit stumpy so here's what i'm thinking at the minute that lithium chunk that we got we'll go and bring that in and we'll do so with the excavator it'll help me just kind of get into it a bit once i've kind of cleared the bottom i should be able to blast it so hopefully we can get this down the tunnel hopefully it's also not too big it might be kind of chunky looking at the size of it across these three conveyors we are a little bit big we are on the sides so it might have been better to get a smaller excavator okay oh wow hopefully this will get us some cash in as well because uh it's running a a little bit peaky and this should be making us bang scrape the teeth down the wall bring it all low then we can just get under it nice and easy i'm gonna get a smaller excavator just a little fella just because it's easy to get underneath with a little guy this is a bit chunky i know what you're thinking why don't you just use this it's huge and like i could i do agree i do agree but I'm just fighting the tide with positioning, I think is the best way to describe it. Anyway, you say there's a right tool for a job, and having a smaller machine to fit in a tighter space surely makes more sense, doesn't it? Side by side is a bit smaller, so then we need a bucket. Just for sheer bucket capacity alone, going to go for a grading bucket. Now, I know it's not the right bucket for the job, maybe, but it's a bigger tonnage. So we'll hook that up, and uh, let's see if we can get down the hole with this. Cool. So, in theory, turn this a little bit squarer. Hang round. There we go. Now I can just commence digging from here. It's going to be really weird what this bucket's going to be like, though, because obviously I know I did all this spiel about right tool for the job, but that extra half ton potentially makes a difference for me. I'll get it scooped out and see where we come back to. So I kind of think we're ready for sort of phase two to get this out. So what I've done is I've dug down and I've got a reasonable amount out the bottom. I've also put some concrete blocks down in the hope that that will stop things building up underneath where the conveyors are now. So I'm just taking the walls down a little bit and then I'm going to get the excavator out of the way and we're going to blast it a bit. So then what we're looking to do is come off here and just go backwards. So I know that it's going to be missing out quite a bit at the bottom, but hopefully it should be enough for what we're trying to do. So I'm going to fill all that in there, and then we're going to blast, and hopefully we'll get underneath it, and we'll start getting some ore. And ore will be money. Hey, that's exactly what we wanted to happen. Perfect. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Oh, that was a little bit better.
Okay, that doesn't look so menacing now. I can just get back to digging that out again now. I think I'm going to do the frowned upon thing. And I am going to get a small front end loader. Potentially right tool for the job. But it should be relatively light work now. Just continue to attack this. That's a bit better. Because all we're doing really is just scooping up what we've blasted down now. Okay, so we're getting there. We are getting there. Midway through all of this, I decided to stop and was like, I'm just going to turn everything from concrete wall pieces into concrete block pieces, which I'm not going to lie to you, was a very, very difficult task. Very challenging. But the reason why I did that was because when I was getting the dirt coming through, when the conveyor at the top was spitting out the dirt, it was falling down and it was kind of sticking through the side of the wall pieces. So as you see up there in the corner, it sticks through. Now it only sticks through in the corner because there isn't actually a block there. It's, it's just dirt straight through. But it was sticking through the whole wall. I was like, nope, can't be like that. And of course, in order to stop that, you have to put a block there. It's the only way that you can stop it. It doesn't stop with a wall piece. It's pretty much done, really. It's one big box, one big hole, whatever you want to call it. I mean, there's still lithium there. Do I still want to get it? I don't know. It's an option, maybe. But I just wanted to square it off. It's been a a long, tedious process, but it's it's all ours now. now. Obviously, it does still go below us, as far as I can work out. So we do have a lot more going underneath. It's just how do we get that out? Because we don't have any vertical sort of mining. That just complicates everything with the conveyor setup and everything else. So I'm not entirely sure what we're going to do there. We'll probably just end up leaving this. Once I've dug this all out and got it all boxed up. But yeah, I think for that one, I will bid you a farewell. Cheers for dropping in, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Take it easy and I'll see you again next time. Bye for now. Bye, everybody.